I'm Andy Unger, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm the current head of the Law Department. And it's my job to host the evening and to bring you up to date, those of you who've been away for a while, with recent uh, developments in the department. We teach uh, a law degree, as we've always done, but recently we've developed some professionally oriented master's programs because we saw that many of our students, uh, often before or after the, the, the LPC or the BVC, wanted to take a master's. And we thought, well, it's crazy that we're not offering it. And we tried to develop courses that would be useful in practice. So our first initiative was uh, the LLM in crime and litigation. And we've added to that now we have a master's course in international human rights and development. And we've got some other projects uh, in train. <coughs> We're constantly concerned uh, with the career opportunities that we create, because that's why people come here. Studying is wonderful, being at university is wonderful, but the reason why everyone comes here is because they're concerned about developing a career for themselves. And we know that qualification into the legal profession is difficult, expensive, and uncertain. And we've done our best, really, to, to develop our programs in ways that maximize the opportunities for uh, our students to go on into worthwhile careers. Uh, recent developments include um, a module called Working in the Law, where we concentrate on placements, professional skills, volunteering, and those kind of issues. Those of you who are from an older generation, if you saw it, you would still see the bones and some of the flesh of common law in action. And if you ever acted for Mr. Bean or Mr. Rudd, well, they're still alive and well. Um, no longer played by me. Um, for those of you who do remember, Mr. Bean was uh, uh, a character, not the Mr. Bean on television, but uh, just the name that we gave to a litigant in what had been a real personal injury case. And the original uh, Mr. Bean and Mr. Jones were Mick Jeeves, who's here somewhere, and Andy Boone, who has gone on to become head of the law school at Westminster. And we had an alumni event uh, a few years ago, and I introduced him as the original Mr. Bean. And he was a little bit hurt because he'd forgotten about Mr. Bean, <laughs> <laughs> the litigant, and he thought I was referring to the television program. Um, in working the law, we encourage and support students to take placements. We've got 20 placements with Southwark Legal Services, which is an excellent opportunity for those students who are taking part. But we, we want, we've constantly tried to expand the, the professional opportunities for our students, so we've created a legal advice centre. Some of you may have been on a, on a visit to it this evening. Um, <clears throat> I don't have time to tell you about it now, but you can find out more through our website, and you can contact us if, if you are interested. But we have very experienced practitioners as members of staff who run the centre. They work with, with student volunteers. It's a drop-in session for the public. We work out if they have a legal problem, what kind it is, and we direct them to the next step. And we have very strong links uh, with Southwark Legal Advice Network. Uh, friends and colleagues from uh, Southwark Law Centre are here tonight. And it's another way in which we are trying to serve our community and foster the interests of our students. Last thing I think that I, I'll tell you about in terms of recent developments is that we have created um, a qualification for the Chartered Institute of Legal Executives and put it into the law degree. If you do the LPC and you don't find a training contract or if you want to follow a career as a legal executive, you can become a member of the Institute <coughs> without any further study or examinations because they have a fast track for graduates who've done the LPC. We spoke to them and we said that we wanted to offer that qualification. So we've created civil litigation and criminal litigation options in the law degree. And if you take those options, you've satisfied the ILEX qualification. And as a member of ILEX, if under the current arrangement, everything is being reviewed in legal education, but if under the current arrangement, if you work in the legal sector for five years as a member, you can become a fellow of the Chartered Institute. And a fellow is fully professionally qualified in the same way that a solicitor is, but in one practice area rather than all. That's not really a problem because most lawyers tend to concentrate on one practice area. And with the changes in the legal profession and the delivery of legal services, uh, the, the, the ILEX qualification is more valuable. You can become a partner in a law firm, you can become a judge, 
you are fully qualified. And it av avoids, for some students who choose that, the bottleneck of the LPC and finding a, a training contract. So those are some of the ways in which we are trying to carry on our tradition of being a community law school, serving the interests of our community and of our students. <coughs> I'd like to take this opportunity just to tell you that we are taking part in the legal, the London Legal Walk on the 21st of May. I let there are some flyers outside. We're taking part with the South London Law Society. We are walking to raise money for a law centre that we support in Zambia and for our own law centre at home. And it's just a request, really, but if you wish to walk with us or if you're willing to sponsor us or you know those who do, please pass on the word and support us. The other um, thing that I would like to draw your attention is that we're very lucky to have Doreen Lawrence with us and we strongly support the work of the... the uh, the Stephen Lawrence Trust because the aims of the Trust are very similar to the aims of the Department and we would also encourage you to uh, support that Trust. The work is, uh, Dawkins is going to tell you more about his work but I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to support the Trust. 